Death comes to us in many forms, but timely intervention can prevent some of them. Malaria takes its toll each year on many, leading to death of one person in Ghana every three hours. In 2009, 3,000 people in Ghana died from malaria, and most of them were children. We had an HB of 2.3. That is very severe. You need normally up to 11, and here we are at 2.3. So we've saved a life here. We've given blood. We started our malaria treatment, and this child will go home. When you get malaria, especially for children under five years, if you don't act fast, that child will be lost within 48 hours. That is within two days. Malaria starts as simple. When we say simple, it's just a fever, we all know, headaches, and then the shiverings. But if you don't treat it, that will progress to what we call severe malaria. Severe malaria can cause brain damage, leaving the patient with permanent learning disabilities, physical weakness, and emotional problems. Sometimes the parasites actually go into the brain. And when they go into the brain, we call that cerebral malaria. But the background to saying that all this is severe malaria is that there must be parasites that we can say is the cause of this. And when you are unconscious because of cerebral malaria, there is no other cause for that. So when we have that, then we say you have, a, uh, you have cerebral malaria. Now we do other laboratory parameters like your blood parasitismia, your white cell count, your renal function, everything. And we add all that to the criteria and saying that a child has severe malaria. For cerebral malaria cases, if we don't treat fast, the child will go into coma. If we are fortunate enough and that child does not die and recovers, about 9% of those who recover, they end up with what we call permanent deficits. Now some of the permanent disabilities include even epilepsy. Some of them may not be able to concentrate well when they go to school. According to research, Severe malaria can lead to lifelong complications such as epilepsy, a permanent brain disorder that causes convulsions, memory loss, and loss of consciousness. Because it's so dangerous, we have really put in place policies and strategies. We've trained all the health facilities, trainers, uh, uh, health workers on how to manage malaria. We have told them and taught them that if a child has severe malaria, for instance, we make sure that you push what we call rectal lactosidate and then we rush the child if you don't have a hospital facility. But if you have a hospital facility, they know and they've been told that the child must be sponged down and quickly you give the malaria medicines for severe malaria. Indeed, the malaria medicines for severe malaria are so effective that if we act fast, we don't need to lose the child. Ibrahim is a 15-year-old boy living with his parents in Nima. Although he was born a normal child, his life and that of his family changed as a result of severe malaria when he was about four years old in kindergarten. Yazuyazamamichi <laughs> Esse <laughs> Allah. <laughs> 
Patrana ina ye zauna ye ce Allah ya bashi lafiya saboda yana so ya je su Ibrahim dai gaskiya yana da ban tausayi saboda yaro mai jin kunya so guda saboda ciwo yaro ya zama wani abu odo muna yi kanshi amma in ciwo ya tashi mu duka muna tausayin Ibrahim In Jamestown, a well-known fishing community in Accra is a moving story. A beautiful girl by name Roberta has been permanently confined to the wheelchair for the most part of her 17 years in this life. Roberta was diagnosed with epilepsy as a result of severe malaria before she could even say her first words. I told me, Florence, Jambia dude. Ne Roberta, Nala mne lampi, mbini, mbini ko mbini. Nala mne ye fo. She was ya, mbini hiele. Baka bana, sis. Uh, six months, three weeks. Knock a head of wah. When a bus is there, come in here to name. Ne, can I get under? I'm a head of it. Ne, go okay, head of. Can I for free? For no tap for some syrup, go on. No, and the can you won't get sure. You know, to me for free, no. Ma, no, the hell is to my queen. Hell is once no. No, it's okay. The film began to fall. Da 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 da. Clear, clear. I'm in clear. I'm in clear hospital. So Benin, you can buy any book in she. Oh, in clear, in clear. The, in clear. The car doctor. It's on me. What me? I'm in car. Doctor, me. Oh, I'm in China. You are bad. That month, then you fail. The following month, then you fail. Third month, then you say fail. Benin, in a two years, in a question. Ini yang tashi, ini yang fikir nuku 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 nuku. Yang apa kau ni? Kau ni, ni ni ba, ba kong ba. Eh, mana ni? Awak ni? Kafu kafu. Mana sani? Mana fikir aku? Eh, ni kafu kafu. The disabled state of Roberta, caused by severe malaria, leaves her mother no option than to cope with all the hardship. From Jamestown to Bubuyashi, where Hegel lives with her daughter Theodora, a 10-year-old girl who also suffers as a result of severe malaria. From Hegel and I, I was going to Theodora and I was going to go to school. I was going to go to school and I was going to go to school. In fact, I was going to go to school and I was going to go to school. Na mintu mi, mi ba na mi ni ba tu demo. Na mi first sister ba ku, na mi swa mi shere sa mi ba na aeshi. Na si mi insen sumra, tu insen sumra ni di begu na ho. Ni ebu bonu zo ni di galik ebe ya kwa na ho. Ti oha na o si oba ba bonte. Ti mi ni ba tu abonte na mi huse na no achiya na aeshi o si so ya si o ya si na mi so. Ti oha na mi kuku mi ko doctor J ho. Ti mi ni du ho no na doctor J bi sa mi se. E dan e ya kwa na. So we need no fees to buy no. None of us share our fee. They know on to me to own an tia, own an tia. No, you see, no, you see. No, how no? Otomu, o kasa kwa on tip. O be kato leta. Tu sawa kogo no. O do sawa sawa do sawa gono. The first one na mi money do ane. O bo ha mi da mi tuwa kaka na ma fe nsono ma money tu sono mi da shana no. O bi sana samu o do mi ya no. O ya shi de ba da no ha no da. O ku tama. Ye <laughs> Up north in the Tolong Kumbungu district, 
we hit the town of Kumbungu to have a chat with Aisha too and her daughter Memuna too, who also suffers as a result of severe malaria. So, don't feel good, she. Don't feel good, my beloved. The kirata, car feel good, no one can do. So, don't do good, no one can. Katiyal ni pagsi ambala, kamal tibro pag. Pag na tamal tibro, dapat tara, dapat tara. The tilia wala dua sang daku. Katulua dua man tibro dua man. Ndutun dia. Dagwankwambusane, Psychiatrists and caregivers have sustained their supportive roles in the communities. I do home visits to educate patients to know much about the malaria and epilepsy, which is one of the conditions which people are not aware. Now if you look at the epilepsy case, in all the psychiatric cases there is a great increase all because now we have mosquitoes all the year round. Simple malaria can quickly turn into severe malaria, particularly among very young children. When you look at the number of children probably getting the severe or extreme form of malaria which we call cerebral then about 1.12 per thousand children will develop um, cerebral malaria as a result of this ordinary malaria we are talking about. We are now recognizing that this also has um, a significant later birth. After getting the severe form that is going to the brain, we now know that there are persistent neurological deficits. So if you looked at a child like this five years later, ten years in your life, you will find that as a result of malaria at this stage, now we realize that some children will go on to develop epilepsy, for instance, or seizures, because it's, a, it's something that goes to the brain. Quick treatment within 24 hours with recommended malaria medicines will curb danger signs like extreme high fever, convulsion, and extreme weakness once the malaria is fully treated. These brave people have come out to tell their stories for us to learn from their experiences. We can all come together to drive malaria away. There has been tremendous progress made in Ghana in the fight against malaria. Many more people are sleeping under treated bed nets, the most effective way to prevent malaria. More people are treating malaria early and fully with ACTs, the recommended malaria medicine. More pregnant women and their unborn children are being protected from malaria with free medicine available at antenatal clinics. However, there is still a long way to go before we win the fight against malaria. Let's come together to drive malaria away for good life. Good life goes with good health. This message is by the Ghana Health Service and the USAID.